Hey guys, here we are in the Ferrari GT3 at Bathurst for the Bathurst 12 hours, and I just wanted to show you how our race start went. Hope you guys enjoy. So after getting rear-ended and running into this wreck and then not having anywhere to go and our car looking like this, we decided to tow and we found out that we had 20 minutes of required uh, repairs. So uh, we, we ended up continuing on, but let's uh, break down what exactly caused that wreck. So if we uh, go further ahead up the field here, we could see that the wreck happened way further up. I think it was around here or so, maybe even earlier. Oh yeah, even earlier. So I see a red Ferrari up there. So it looks like they're going side by side through turns five and six here. And the Ferrari just got pinched a bit, tagged the left rear, or the right rear of the other Ferrari, got spun around, kind of checked up the track. Everyone on the inside uh, then, then got collided. So we saw what happened with the Ferrari got spun, but let's check what happened to the cars behind. So this is the guy to his outside, and this is the car behind. So this Ferrari escaped, just a bit of a tap in the rear. Let's check the car behind. You can already see the accordion effect uh, starting here. Cars checking up right over this blind crest and the cars behind don't see it coming. So this Porsche didn't see that until too late. I do think this Porsche could have slowed down a bit earlier, but let's see how it uh, affected this uh, McLaren behind in 24th. That McLaren actually got pretty lucky, he managed to pretty much escape the wreck. Now let's check this Ferrari. I feel like this is where the wreck really started to take place, since there was a big gap between these cars, and this Ferrari checked up way ahead of time, but then still got rear-ended from behind here, so... I would put a lot of the blame on this car behind, this uh, 10 car. Really made no attempt at slowing down. You can just hear the engine note, and you can see the cars breaking up ahead. You see a car spinning, and look at his throttle. He, like, he literally doesn't slow down to the last second, so definitely didn't help the situation. <laughs> and yet another Ferrari that gets rear-ended from behind. <laughs> Let's see this four car. Wow, car almost lifted off there for a minute. Just no one being able to check up in time. And at this point, it's just like, even if you do try to slow down, there's just, everyone's stopped at this point. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, and if this Ferrari tried to slow down, there's not even a lane available to go. Like, everyone's sideways. The whole track is blocked. Yeah, absolutely nothing they can even do at this point. Let's check uh, the three car. Holes actually kind of opened up a bit there for the three car. Then the five. The five did a good job as well, but once again, the cars behind just didn't slow down. But I think the five basically made it through unscathed. Other than that 4X, I think they should have been able to continue on. So let's check the 93. And it just seems to get worse and worse, doesn't it, as we go further back. And then here we are. Yeah, I don't think I did anything great either. I saw everyone checking up on the left-hand side. I didn't want to collide with them. I didn't want to rear-end them. So I went to avoid this line. And unfortunately, there was a car just stopped here. So... I don't think I think it was a lose lose with what I did, and I'm assuming it's kind of the same case for a lot of guys behind me as well. Oh my God, that guy has to be the luckiest guy so far. Look how he slowed down, managed to find a hole at the last moment, and avoided everything. Man, that 245. I wish I was him. One ninety nine car didn't really have an opportunity since again getting rear ended from behind, couldn't really choose where to go. In seventy nine, I mean you're getting yellow flags clearly at this point for so long, and the thing is you can't see anything, you just getting the yellow flags, so it's hard to tell what you should slow down for, so I wouldn't say it's justified, but uh, at this point you're so far like over this crest and you see nothing so is it worth slowing down i honestly don't exactly blame them for not letting off until the last moment since it's hard to see so i don't really know how helpful it is to continue watching the cars behind but uh yeah that's pretty much uh <laughs> what happened at the top Crazy how that one Ferrari, this one that spun here, really led to a lot of this. I mean, again, I might put it on uh, yeah, the six car for kind of pinching him a bit. But moral of the story, going too wide through here is kind of scary. So they should have just made up their mind, gone single file, and there wouldn't have been any spins in general. So, yeah. 20 minutes of repairs for us, and I think like 15 guys got meatball flags from that, so pretty uh, dramatic uh, lap one wreck. But uh, pretty typical of Bathurst. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.